Well, now with more on U.S. earnings, I'm joined uh, now by John Haynes. He is the head of research and strategy at Rendsburg Shepherds. Thank you very much indeed for joining us today. Um, now, we've seen uh, we saw quite a big surge in uh, Q3 compared certainly to the year before. Are we anticipating something similar this time around? Well, I think on a year-on-year -year comparison basis, the numbers are still look pretty good, mm. um, around 30% or thereabouts mm. in terms of, of earnings growth. Um, but one must remember that quarter on quarter we are beginning to see a maturing of the cycle. There's probably only three to five percent earnings growth is expected on a quarter on quarter basis, mm -hmm. um, and that's really a product of, of the comparisons really being being much more difficult. We're washing out a, a really quite a poor finish to 2009. Now, if we go forward then uh, into the next quarter, are we going to see things normalise? I mean, this bounce back has been quite severe, but we can't keep going at this rate, can we? Yeah, I, th I think um, strategists are, are, are hoping for 14, 15, 16 percent earnings growth for next year. Mm -hmm. I think it's beginning to be that will be a little more difficult to achieve. The margin growth that we've seen throughout this year has been quite profound, and also the growth has been quite imbalanced. If you like, mm -hmm. the, the emerging market economies have, have driven a lot of the growth. If you if you looked at the at the index excluding the financial services sector, then around 80% of the earnings this quarter is going to be driven by sectors that, if you like, are sensitive to growth in the developing economies. That moderates next year, again, taking out the financial services sector, only 60% of the growth is expected to be driven by those mm. economic regions. And those kind and of, a better balance. Those kind of companies are ones that are involved in, in like financials, in IT, those kind of industries? That, that's energy, mm -hmm. uh, in IT, mm -hmm. um, materials, um, and, and the, the, the balance is, is industrials. Mm -hmm. the, the, uh, the, the domestically oriented focuses, focus companies, the consumer non-durables the, and the consumer discretion sectors they're having a little bit tougher times similarly the defensive sectors like the the health care and the utility sectors very very much a, a, a two-tier picture so when we go look when we look at this going forward are we going to continue to see these two tiers or you know wh wh which way is it going to go it needs to even up is, mm. is, is the bottom line if we are really beginning to see a rebalancing of global growth which is what people are hoping for in order to to be optimistic about the picture mm. going forward that has to be reflected in the earnings pattern that the, the, the indices are going to produce we do have around 40 percent of the earnings of the s are overseas derived, mm. but a lot of that comes from Europe as well. So, so that, that part of the world needs to start doing better and start contributing its fair share. Now, one sector that seems to be doing very well at the moment in the US are the, the, the car makers. I mean, this uh, Detroit uh, auto show is going to be a bit of a lap of honor, really, isn't it? Because they all seem to have come back from these dark days and now they're beating the, they're is, beating yeah. the Europeans and the Asians. Lazarus is back, mm. back from the dead <laughs> in, a, in a big way, but I, I suspect this is a thing that's going to run and run. It, over the long term, these guys have to compete against some pretty aggressive uh, competitors from the from the emerging economies some of whom are being treated like uh, strategic industries so they will get subsidies in bad times favorable treatment in 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 bad times that's a that's a tough competitive environment for for uh, for developed world car companies to to compete against indeed john haynes thank you very much indeed for your insights